And in this week we talk about New Guild Services, Mist of Pandaria and Short and Red Weeks. G'day guys and welcome to Warcraft News. I've been trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter so they're not as long to watch but if you want to see more in depth you can either come and subscribe to my channel or let me know in a comment down below and I can make these a little bit longer. If you didn't see last week's video it'll be up here so you can go check that out and that should also have a link linking to a video back onto my channel where I go into a little bit more in depth. This video up here was released pretty much right on when it came out and so it is missing a couple of little things but the video that I've got up on my channel kind of explains a little bit more in detail plus of all, I also did a three hour live stream so you can go check that out on Twitch as well. So with this new guild service what it is offering is the ability to transfer your guild either to a different faction to a different realm or name change so if you want to change factions it's going to cost you forty dollars if it's going to change realm it's going to cost you thirty five dollars and if you just want to change the name it's going to cost you twenty dollars if you get a faction and a realm change it will be ten dollars cheaper if you want to do it all together at the one time so this doesn't bring all of your characters across it just brings over your level of your guild and all the achievements that you guild have your bank and all that sort of stuff so you don't start from level one again so that's kind of cool um, I kind of don't like this idea because your big guilds are going to jump and cross and whatever and uh, I'm not a big fan but what happens is when the GM initiates this there will be a new icon in the guild tab services somewhere which will let your guildies know that you can jump across into a different server or realm or whatever uh, and they will have to pay for it themselves singularly so um, I don't know how it's going to work if they name change or anything like that so I would probably recommend if you're going to do a transfer first and then get a name change otherwise you might lose all of your uh, your guild honor and stuff like that so um, definitely something to keep an eye out on just so let me know how you feel it's currently not available in every realm at the moment but I'll make sure to include a list of the current servers that is going to be live on the description down below MMO champion has just released some shocking news that I find a little bit offensive and that is that the Taiwan and the Korean servers are getting the double raid lockouts. Uh, so effectively that means with the current content and older content, they can actually go through and kill Ragnaros twice so they can get double the loot faster. Now I'm not a loot haul, but it's just it's not fair because that means now they can work on achievements twice and all this sort of stuff. And yeah, no, it, that doesn't sit right. So um, I think maybe we need to let Blizzard know that this, this is rubbish. This is not something that we want to stand up for. Uh, especially because it's just not right. Why should other people have more chance at uh, getting world first and stuff than everybody else? So definitely drop a comment down below gang and let me know how you feel. Just very quickly guys, it's rumored that in the new expansion that Thermal Island is going to be exploded. Essentially it's going to be taken out and not real sure on the details on how that's going to happen but I think it's something to do with the Alliance versus Horde kind of battle and I think that's roughly where the main stuff is going to come to head so uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on that and I'll let you know more as soon as I find out. And in MOP news just very quickly it has been announced that Blizzard are going to do a live Q&A session on the actual expansion so you better ask your questions there. I will include a link down below so you can go have a look at that. Also in the description down below I've included some links to YouTube channels so you can go check out what the new five men's are going to look like. It doesn't have any raid mobs or anything like that and if you've been around the last couple of weeks you've probably already seen him but just in case for those guys who use this as their main source of wow i've included that down below it's looking pretty cool so i'm definitely looking forward to it and i can't wait to be a panda maybe i'm just going to paint myself in black and white and run around naked or something and do some karate i would like to thank everybody for the screenshot selection we've really had some great stuff come through uh don't forget to keep sending more in and just because you've sent it in once doesn't mean you can't keep sending it in Send them into sardatv at gmo.com and just make sure that they're in the normal resolution because I don't want to put up the stuff with the black bars unless it's exceptional. Uh, you can also do videos if you want. I'll even include a video response. Thank you very much for watching. I've had fun making this video. I hope you've had fun watching it. If you've liked it, please leave a comment, thumbs up the video and even add it to your favorites. So I will leave you with some comments from last week that I found funny. And as always, guys, stay beautiful.